Hello everybody, I am Fuzzy Face and welcome to another edition of this career mode of Motorsport Manager. We are still on top of the constructor standings here, Predator Racing Group doing well with six points ahead here. Chariot made a little surge in that last race. Uh, Gonzalez, I think she picked up ten points, did she? I think she picked yeah. I think she did pick up ten points. And she picked up ten points because she got six points, yeah, six points for finishing second, plus the two point bonus for fastest lap, plus two points. Bonus for qualifying on pole position. So Chariot uh, came storming back in the Sydney race. So hopefully we're going to do a little bit better here in the Black Sea. Although we didn't too, do too badly in Sydney. It's 6th and 7th. But obviously that is outside the points with the way the rules have been changed here. But I was looking. And this is the point last season where we went on a 3. I think it was a 3 race run. Of actually scoring 0 points. So hopefully that's not going to happen to us again. Hopefully we can do something in the Black Sea. It looks like it's going to rain during the race at some point, which usually works into our favour. So hopefully we can do something there. I am scouting more drivers now because I am sort of thinking about changing drivers. I'm still not 100% on that. I do sort of want to keep both of these drivers and just see how they can do in the Formula 1 version of this series. It sounds kind of strange, but the... The thing that I'm thinking is if we stay down, then I'll go ahead and get a new driver. Which is probably the sort of wrong way of thinking about this. But if we go up, then I want to sort of keep both drivers. Because in real life, what sort of team would sort of fire a driver that's either finished second or fourth in the championship standings? It seems kind of ludicrous to go ahead and do that. And I've sort of got this idea, this sort of like challenge of trying to bring these two drivers up. We've had the same team, we've had the same staff, we've had the same drivers all the way down from the European uh, racing series. So hopefully these are good enough. Woodbridge's star rating is not good enough. He does have the potential to get to three and a half stars, but it's taken him a long time to get there. But I do like his nurse stat early on in the season. Obviously, I do have my mechanic that I would be going for if we do ever decide to get rid of Woodbridge, which is Danny White, because he's the only other one that i found that has his... Well, the only other one that i found that's got quite a decent star rating and has a nurse that plus he uh, improves performance at 20, whereas the opposite of Dunbar here, who does the reliability at 20. So that would be the thing that we're taking there. So it's like we're sort of like a family team and that we've brought these drivers along and we're going to stick with them as long as we can. And that way, just to see what they can do. It does seem sort of a miss that we would not give them the chance in F1 when they've both been with us through the sort of thick and thin moving up through all the leagues and so on and so forth so it would be like it would be like getting rid of like a driver that we've had so much history with and it's sort of a weird way to think about a game and so on yeah it's sort of a weird way to think about a game about these digital characters but I do have this sort of loyalty towards them and that they both even though they're not the best drivers in the world they've done remarkably well and maybe then even even F1 if the both uh, if one of them struggling or the both struggling then maybe we can think about replacing one after maybe three or four races because I still do want to go with this thing that we're doing like we've got 27 months here with both of these and let the contracts run down maybe keep one around or maybe go ahead at that point and replace one and then we've got Yuri here I think it's Yuri or Jerry I think it'll be Yuri who's two stars, he's got the potential to be a four star driver I do want him to be the long sort of uh, project driver that we have to see if we can get him up to four stars I do want to put him in the car at some point if he gets to three stars or above he's got quite a good cornering start and overtaking so he's pretty good in that regard everywhere else he's pretty much terrible last time out he did have a musician that he'd been off making music so that's why he'd not got any practice time this year which probably hurt his development a little bit but he's not good enough to actually go in a car in any time soon. He's only 20, but hopefully if he gets to around 24 or 25 and he starts making some decent improvements, then he's going to get a seat with us here at Predator. So that's the way we're going. Santa Rana's stats aren't too bad now. She's getting up there pretty much. A lot of these main ones here, she's not still not good in a few of them, but it's good enough for what I want. And then Latin in here, she's, uh, I think she's got a little boost at the moment. She's not the best, but... They obviously would be the worst drivers overall in the F1, in the World Motorsport Championship. But hopefully with a little bit of strategy we could get around that. I do want to see what they can do with one season there at least, hopefully, or at least a few races to see how they go on. But anyway, that's my thinking there. We've sort of upgraded all the way on the car. We're improving some parts still, just these ones. Although I think just the way this is going, they've got 56 days, which is uh, that's 8 weeks, isn't it? 
going to take eight weeks to do that and we've got nine weeks till the last race so it's going to take almost up to the end of the season to get a lot of these done so i'm possibly going to take the ones out of mia's car here so we've got 27 days here so just under four weeks for that and then that should give me the time to work on the other parts that i want to work on i do want to uh upgrade this as well but i'm going to wait till these is done the gearbox i want to get it to this part that's over 600 and I do want to work on the other new rear wing and possibly the other new suspension that we're going to use for the end of the season. So we're going to go ahead and build the other rear wing that we can get at the moment. The best one that we've got in the car is in Santa Ana's, which is 464 at the moment, but we can get it to 529. So obviously we've got, now we've got five slots open now for components as we design this new rear wing. So obviously we're going to go with this one, that's a plus 70, we've got a plus 40. What else have we got here? This one could add 40 as well. This one adds 35. And this one adds 35. So look at that 619. We can actually get a rear wing up to. Uh, it starts at 458. But obviously that has plus 1, plus 1, and a plus 1 there. Plus 3 for a risk. So it's obviously not a part that we can use. But it's something that we're going to try and get up to this performance of 619 by the end of the season. Hopefully we've got just enough time to do that if we only work on these two parts. Possibly the gearbox. And then at some point we're possibly going to build a suspension as well, hopefully. But whether we've got enough time to get that performance all the way to the top, I do not know. I think it's 5 or 9. I think the best suspension part we can build, we can potentially get up to 5, 4, 9. So obviously it's not as good as the rear wing that we can do. But it should still give us a decent base for next season. So that's what we're doing so far with everything else. Obviously we've got the scouting going on here. These are a couple that we've got... Um, Sylvanda Rick de Graaf, who is the Esprit or Esprit driver, he won this uh, Asia Pacific last year, so he's got really good stats here. So he will possibly be the one that we're gonna end up trying to go for because I think his contract is up at the end of the season, so he might we might be able to get away with not paying anything to break a contract. So he might be the one that we go for if I do decide to change it. Otherwise, we're gonna stick with the same drivers. But that's how it's going to be. So we're going to go ahead to get to the Russia Grand Prix now. And we're going to go ahead and take practice. And we'll come back for qualifying. So practice is over. Not the best of practice sessions there. Although we didn't get any clean laps in as usual in practice. 17th and 20th. They're quite a long way off the pace. And most worrying thing about this. Is that the chariot of Maria Gonzalez looks exceptionally quick here. By over a second over the MRT Monroe's car. So hopefully that's not the way it's going to be for the race. Otherwise they're going to pick up some real points. And it looks like we've got rain to start with here. So is it going to continue raining? It does look like that. So we're going to have to set some early laps on the intermediates here. Going to have to take the soft bonus. Even though it's intermediates that we're going to be using. Don't have any other option here. Uh, we didn't do too badly. The best one is this 98 here. So maybe we can put that one in. I went the wrong way with the handling on the last one. So maybe we take the handling that way even things up there with the speed balance hopefully that gets us an excellent rating around there now so we do have to do it on the inters and we got almost perfect with Maya 98% with her as well and she's gonna have to come out on the inters as well so hopefully second or above is what we're aiming for whether we can get that or not or whether it's gonna stop raining it doesn't look to get to a point and then start dropping again so hopefully towards the end of the session we're gonna get some uh, dry weather maybe Although it does look like it's going to rain for quite a while here, so hopefully we can time it right if it does that. But we're going to come back for when one of these, uh, when one of these, whether uh, Santa Ana or Latina, I don't know who we're going to send out first. But when one of them's about to set a flying lap, we'll come back and see how they do. Right, so we've got Santa Ana just about coming round. We're overheating a little bit, a little calms on here. We'll try to stay ahead of this of Zarate. We're we'll thinking one of the Krugers. She's one of the lower cars, and we've got Latin here. We've got a nice little bit of track here. It looks like for Latina. Obviously, we need to stay in front of number five, which is Gonzalez here. So maybe we could actually slow her down with Latinan. So we'll try to stay just right in front of her here. Somehow, let's try and stay right in front of her. She's going to get past us, isn't she? No, we didn't slow her down. Can we get... We'll just try and mess her lap up here. Although I don't think it's going to do too much, is it? So let's just see where we can get with Santa Ana. I don't think Gonzalez is going to slow Latinan down too much. What's the rain looking like? It's going to end up getting dry pretty soon. So whatever this uh, these laps are like are not going to matter because we're going to get a dry lap towards the end of the session. 
I wonder if it's going to start raining again though, is it going to stay dry? Just keep an eye on that, whether we should pull one in. Santa Ana's actually going quickest at the moment. So Santa Ana goes first there, or of course we've got Gonzalez going round here, so let's see where Gonzalez gets around in. Gonzalez goes quicker, how much quicker? Look at that, one and a half seconds there, but the track was a lot drier there for her lap. Lasting and down in ninth. Obviously, these lap times don't matter too much because we're going to come back out again and set a dry time. Pretty much to as far towards the end of the session as we can so we get a little bit of track grip here. Hopefully, just keep an eye on the weather. So, I'll come back when we're going to set another lap here. We should get enough time for both of these ladies to get out. And we'll set a time at that point and come back for the flying laps. Right, so we've come back here. We've overheated everything totally on these cars because we'll try to get around as quick as possible. Just to try and have as little bit as uh, try and have as much dry track as we could here. Gonzalez is coming out quite late here. Is she starting a fast lap? Is she actually starting a lap? No, that's her out lap, isn't it? So she's actually starting her lap now on a drier track than us. So she looks like she's going to get pole position here. But hopefully we've got enough dry track here to actually set a pretty decent time. Hopefully. Although well, Santa Ana's got a little bit of competition in front of her, whereas Latin has got a pretty dryish track here. So hopefully. Can sort of keep up here. She's not too far behind. And neither is Santa Rana. So hopefully uh, Latin has dropped down there in that second sector. So has Santa Rana. I think that's just because of the rain here, isn't it? The rain's messed both of these up. So we're 14th and 16th. Obviously not the best there. That rain just really messed us up there at the end. We didn't really get a chance to improve, did we? We actually went slower than what we did. Actually went slower than what we did on the intermediates there, just because of that rain hitting. Oh, I knew it was going to do that. I should have sent them straight back out and tried and got a time on the dry track when we could have done. Obviously, that's a reason why we should have a forecasting centre, isn't it? So maybe that's something we should think about. Because that would have really helped us out. Then we would have seen that rain come in. I was hoping it was going to stay dry till the end. Obviously, it didn't. And that really messed us up there. So I don't know what we're going to get from 14th and 16th here. Obviously Gonzalez is really quick here. Where's the other chariot? Oh, thankfully Vidal's behind us. So it doesn't look like they're going to get two cars in the points. But it does look like we could possibly lose our lead in the championship here. Obviously we can go with Nurse for Santa Ana we, so we can just have her push as much as we want. So we've got 17 laps here we can put. Seven laps of fuel in. So hopefully we can just run our normal strategy here. We've got plenty of tyres. Santa Ana can do it all on softs. There's no reason at all to use a slower medium tyre at any uh, medium tyre at any point. Santa Ana can just about do it. So maybe her middle stint should be a medium tyre, or should we go medium first? We can only get seven laps of fuel anyway, can't you? So we'll just try soft and just see what we can get out of them with Latin, and we're going to push from the off here just for a little bit and then we obviously will go as long as we can as we're keeping an eye out for the rain here so I don't, we don't know when it's going to rain Santa Ana's away pretty well there straight up into 11th place and Latinum right behind her up into 12th Santa Ana doing a great job of moving up there so we're just keeping an eye out for rain as it is at the moment. I'm going to drop a few on this. No, still in temp for Santa Ana. Latinum's dropped down a few. Going around these bends. Let's see where we can get to in this race. It's going to be tight to get points. Gonzalez has got out in front here. Making a gap for herself as well. Santa Ana doing a nice job at keeping around this position here. Obviously around this part of the field is where we should actually be. We're actually overachieving a lot this season, being where we are in the championship. So it's just when this rain is going to hit. So maybe we should just try and hold off now. Try and hold off on these things. Probably need to get a bit more temperatures in the tyres. I'm going to try and conserve a little bit of fuel now. Just see if we can go a lot longer than these AI cars here. Although we'll probably start dropping a few places. Does look like Gonzalez has got this race in the bag here, doesn't it? It's 
the Black Sea Grand Prix again doing us in. Seems to do us in every time that we've been here. We did used to do it twice in the European series. We never had a result there, so... I don't think we had a really good result. I think we probably got scored some points. Well, obviously, do score points in the European series. I don't know if we actually ever got a podium there or not. Santa Ana must have locked up at some point, hasn't it? So we're going to have to burn some fuel with her. So we're just keeping an eye out for rain. It did say it was going to rain during the race. So we've just got to try burn some fuel now. We'll possibly burn fuel with uh, Latin in as well. These tyres are going through pretty quickly here. So it looks like we might have to think about pitting Santa Ana early here. Which might work out with the way the rain's falling. It looks like it's going to be towards the end of the race, so hopefully we're going to fill back up to the top again. Obviously we've got a lot of fuel there we didn't actually get through, but that should make the pit stop a little bit quicker here. So hopefully we're not going to come back back out in a lot of traffic here. Gonzalez has made her pit stop and we managed to get back out in seconds. So what can we do with Latin in here? Should we have her push? Although do we oh someone's crashed, so we've got a virtual safety car. Someone just ran straight into the wall then. Who is that? It's two behind. That's is that dude? no? Cruz. Cruz they just ran straight into the wall. So Latin is up into third here, but she's not gonna feel the benefit from pushing here. Well, the safety car is not out for long. The virtual safety car. Should we push entirely during this lap, or could we get a, could we get two laps? No, we'll go. We'll just waste everything here. We'll go for it. Doesn't look. Ah, oh, the rain's coming about then. If we could have got what we could have done out of these tyres, we could have hit that right at the right time there, couldn't we? For the intermediates. But we're gonna go soft here. We're gonna fill up. Should we fill up? Four eight. We'll try a little bit less. Because it depends when we get round to that making that pit stop, doesn't it? So we'll go a little bit less fuel. We won't go too, too less, but yeah, that's what we should do. Santa Ana's pretty much on Latin in here, even though she's made a pit stop as well. And we can we've got a lot of fuel to burn here, can't we? Obviously we need to get a little bit of life in these tires here. So we can just go ahead and push everything here, can't we? Because we're going to come in for intermediates sooner rather than later. So hopefully we can get up into the points here. Where's Latin and going to come back out? Eh, not too bad. Is she going to drop a few? Ninth place there. Yeah, ninth place for Latin. So not too bad there. We've got Santa Rana up into fifth. Flying through the field here is Santa Rana. It looks like we're going to have to swap to intermediates at some point. Whether we can go... A lap longer than some of the other cars try and do. I don't know whether that's because that first lap should be good enough for dry tyres pretty much. So whether we can get a little bit, be a little bit cheeky and not come in on that lap. Don't think it's going to get to full wet conditions, is it? Although it's going to rain pretty heavily about lap nine. So is it going to get to full wet? Full wet conditions? I'm not quite sure again this is where our forecasting centre would do us the world of good but as it is we're running 6th and ninth here doing pretty well although we could possibly we're burning through these tyres so much shocking aren't we still although we've got fuel to burn so everyone else is staying out for another lap here it looks like so we're going to have to think about pitting at the end of this lap Although we could possibly leave one of these cars out. Although Santa Ana is going to have to come in for Inters, isn't she? Don't think it's going to get fully wet. So Inters we're going to have to come in for. We'll try take the risk and fill the tank up. It won't get us through to the end of the race. We might leave Latin and out. I don't think she could. I don't think she's going to lose too much time, or is she? It's going to be pretty wet by the time she gets to her lap. It's going to be dampish to wet there, isn't it? So there's enough room between them that they're not going to stack up. Although wood, everyone's come in pretty much. So should we just try? Should we try risk it? Just see if she can get a little bit of distance here. So it hasn't quite started raining yet. Just depends how much she slows down during this lap, doesn't it? 
to anyone else. A lot of these are still in front, are still on the dryer tyre. So we're going to get her in this time. Try to conserve some fuel here with uh, Santa Rana. Looks like it's going to rain till the end of race, maybe get to full wet conditions by the end. So we're going to do that, we're going to fill up to the top. Just see where we can get Latinen out here. She is, uh, does look like she's pulling away a little bit here, doesn't it? On the dry tyre. So it was the right option to stay out that one extra little bit there. She's got plenty of fuel to get in. Don't think she's going to get back out in front of Santa Ana here. Doesn't look like she could do, doesn't it? No, Santa Ana just got through there. Santa Ana is now up into fourth place. Absolutely brilliant driving there. And Latin is into sixth, so he's made quite some distance up here. We'll go for medium here. We're going to try. It's going to get towards full wets there, isn't it, as well? So maybe we've got the fuel to push and the tyres to push. We can do that. So, yeah, it does look like we're going to get have to put four wets on at some point during this race. So, whether we can try and go a little bit longer again. Is it going to keep raining like that? It does look like it. we've got the three little raindrops, haven't we? Which means it's going to keep raining. No, it's going to actually get drier. It's going to actually start getting drier. So, we're going to turn down again. We're going to see how far we can get on this. Uh, just keep an eye on that weather. We just want to judge this right here we don't want to mess up although the rain stayed heavy but the track's going to dry out obviously that's possibly because these intermediates are getting some of the water off the track obviously they shouldn't do more than the uh than the wets would do it's, yeah it's going to get dry it's going to start uh easing off towards the end there isn't it so what are we doing at the moment? Are we actually gaining here? We are, aren't we? So could we go push now? So we do have to make another stop here, don't we? Got to, got to make another stop at some point. So we're going to turn up both cars here. We'll just see where we can get to. See if we can gain on day one here. We need to try and close down at the one. We do need second, obviously, for about a 1.1 million bonus. Gonzalez has made her Gonzalez has already made her third pit stop and is still back out in the lead so the chariot the chariot is really really powerful here it looks like they've got that little bit of form that they had we've got full wet conditions here so but we've got about another where we're going to be after this lap is it time to make our stop it does look like it doesn't it <coughs> So, gonna go for a pair of fresh inters now. Make sure we've got enough fuel to the end of the race. Just like that. So Santa Ana's coming in this time. Latin has got another lap that she can do. Why does that say 0 0.80? Can't be 0 0.80. Do you really be at that? Is she gonna really burn up? that much fuel on one lap. Strange. Yeah, she possibly would, wouldn't she? Yeah, so she can get round like that this time. So, we can possibly push on all of this pretty early. We'll try to push a little bit and Latin in fresh pair of Inters. Just enough fuel to push if we need to, although the rear wing is looking pretty dodgy there. So hopefully that's not going to come into play here. And Latin and battling away with Diost here. Gets in front of him. Does he have to make another pit stop? It does look like it. A few of these cars in front still have to make pit stops here. We've got Vidal in eight, so the other chariot moving up the order as well. So hopefully we can get one of our cars into the points. And it does look like we're going to lose uh, the constructors' lead that we have. It looks like we're going to move down to second after this race. Latin is into the pits. Should have enough to push for a little bit here. What do we have lap-wise? We have three laps left. So we have we have plenty of fuel here to push. Can we actually gain on fourth here? Uh, of course we can because they have to come in. 
Hamilton's been in for his uh, pit stop. We're quite a way behind him, so hopefully we can get third here. Maybe. Might be able to at least get a podium. There's two laps remaining after this comes round. So what's the condition looking like here? Should we think about turning Latinan down or should we push for points from her as well? It's probably worth it, isn't it? Otherwise we wouldn't get points, although it does look like the cars are all going to have to stop, so maybe we can just think about turning her down here. Though we can push with the tyres still. There's no worry about the tyres running down. So what are we aiming for? We're aiming to get past the Wolf here. He looks like he's got another pit stop to make. Whether he's going to try risk it in round. Does look like he's going to risk it, doesn't it? Yeah, did Wolf is going to try and risk it here, and we're gaining on him because his tyres have a shot here. Don't think we've got any chance of catching Hamilton, but we've got a podium here. We've got Latinan coming round. She should be able to get into fourth as well. Here, yes, she can. So not too bad of a result here if we can just uh, get round here and finish like this. Third and fourth, not bad from where we were on the uh, grid after qualifying. Obviously, we don't pick up any bonus money today. That was a mistake trying to hit second. But third and fourth, that should be. I think Gonzalez is going to score 12 points today. I think she's got both bonuses for qualifying. No, she didn't actually get pole position, did she? So she doesn't get those two points. But she's possibly got 10. We were six ahead. Oh, I can't remember what this gets you now. Uh, two. Is it, I think it's five and five and three. So we've got eight points to her ten. So we should still be ahead in the Constructors Championship here. Thankfully due to that awesome bit of racing at the end there to get into third and fourth. So hopefully we're still on top of the Constructors here. And it is the first time that we've had a really decent result in the Black Sea. So I'm happy with that as well. Obviously we don't have any dodgy parts here. Maybe Gonzalez does. Don't think she does, no. So as I thought, she's got 10. It's actually four points you get for third place. So we've picked up seven. We've picked up seven points today to Gonzalez's 10. So the uh, yeah, chariot have half the distance, haven't they? So we, we should be now three points ahead, it would look like. But another podium. Santa Ana has got no chance of catching Gonzalez here. So it looks like... Gonzalez has got the drivers tied up, but we're three points ahead here. It's getting pretty close as we get towards the end of the season. We've got three rounds to go. So let's just skip past this now. Where are we going to be at? Don't have any bonus money, so we should pick up about 1.2, but obviously we've possibly played some bonuses to Santa Ana. Don't think we have any bonuses that we pay out to Latinum for finishing higher up. We'll see. Everyone's still happy. We came third like expected. 1.4 we actually put in the bank. Not bad. So it's going to be whatever we can do at Phoenix now. We've got Phoenix coming up, which is the oval track, which I absolutely hated last season. Uh, they haven't made a few more tweets to the blue flag thing. So hopefully that works out. Although... I'm not sure whether it's going to have sorted everything out totally because it's the last time that this Phoenix track is going to be in the game either because we get promoted or because it's totally gone next season because all the teams voted against it. This uh, Asia Pacific League will have this track twice next year for USA. Which would be a good thing if we're still down because we actually won that this time. So hopefully we can do the same again in Phoenix as we did here. Obviously it's an oval track. And it's going to be quite a challenge to do that. Uh, rear wing, we're moving up here. Chariot have got the best there. Which is probably why they're doing so well at the moment. Because they do have a gearbox that possibly almost matches ours. So, we don't have much to do other than wait for this rear wing to be built. Which isn't even going to be ready for in time for that race. So, I'm possibly just going to go ahead and skip ahead here. Until the next race. Because obviously we're improving these parts. And let's just see how high we can get. We're currently 7th and we're currently 5th there. So let's just see how high we can get those in time for the next race. So 7th and 5th. So hopefully we can get those improved. I'll come back when that's just about done. Right, so it's the day before the Phoenix Grand Prix. We've got a new vote started here. 
Let me say I'm not too bothered about whether we're going to have dry compound, uh, three tire compounds next season or not. It shouldn't really affect as much other than us uh, try to get that the quickest tire up to like 10% in practice, the boost that we get, and then have two fresh tires for qualifying. So I'm possibly going to abstain. So we've got voting for whenever we need something. I don't think it will make a difference for us. It's looks pretty tight there, doesn't it? So we voted against it, so the tyres are going to stay exactly the same next season. Uh, we've finished some scouting here on these new drivers. Some Van der Four stars, all these pay quite a lot. Work with a pro, charity word. He's pretty marketable though, isn't he? And his contract's going to be up at the end of the season. Maybe he is a option. Let's have a look. Who else did we get? Rick DeGraff, who was on about. He's only got two months left. And he's four and a half star rated. He's not interested at the moment because he's in the World Motorsport Championship. But obviously, a Spirit are coming back down next season. And he's 100% marketability. So maybe we might take the risk and go for Rick DeGraff if we do go up. I keep changing my mind here over <laughs> who we should go for. And we got Claudia Dreyfus as well. Just three stars there, fearless. No not worth considering because so the car the rear wing we've actually moved up into third there pretty good six still on the suspension so where we at here we've still got some improvements to be made to the rear wing and the suspension which should be ready in time for the British Grand Prix which is a track that we did quite well at last season I think so hopefully that's something we can do I'm gonna go one more day here I'm gonna get right before the Phoenix Grand Prix so did that do any more for us? Still third, still six. Uh, so yeah, so that's where we're going to leave it. We've got the Phoenix Grand Prix coming up. We'll have the new rear wing built, which we'll be putting into uh, putting into development and trying to get performance up. But we're not going to be using it this season. So hopefully during the oval race at Phoenix, we can get a result. We'll be coming back for that, that next time. So if you want to be updated on when I do post that video, it should be the day after this one. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment as well. But anyway, until next time, I will see you down the road in Phoenix for the United States Grand Prix. And goodbye.